So for today, we're going to be looking at the iron companion pieces for the hunter. If you guys don't know, we usually do this after the armor review, which is right here. We already did the iron companion video. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. It's a lot of fun. We do. We go over how it looks. We go over how it shaders and my just thoughts on the whole armor set itself. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you guys are handling this iron banner, because for me, it was really rough getting some of these pieces, especially for my warlock which we will have other videos specifically the iron companion sets for the warlock and titan they're going to be later because obviously we usually start with my hunter so again if you guys like the video let me know which set is your favorite because for me i definitely have favorites and i will tell you when we get to that armor set so again appreciate you guys liking everything um, analytics is looking real good you guys have been blowing up the channel and i appreciate you guys if you could blow it up even more so other than that, let's get into it. So the first set we're going to be looking at is the helmet. And for this one, it might be familiar for those who have been watching my content for a while, because this is from last season, specifically from the new exotics uh, ornament video that I made for the hunters. It's right here. And I specifically made this set for the Valhund ornament and I immediately loved it. But I knew that I needed the Iron Companion mask for it because it really needed like a viking helmet and i feel like this one is a really good one for that especially since the iron companion mask has a lot of like engravings and whatnot which go really well with the canis luna grips because that also has engravings on it as well for the chest piece obviously valhund it's a really good chest piece especially if you want to go for a viking look uh for the boots we're actually using iron four under strides this one i feel like is the best choice for this i also didn't realize that damn near every piece of this is uh, iron banner related which is funny but i decided for the iron forerunner just because i like the cloth on the crouch i think that's super dope with all of this and i don't know it just looks very busy which i feel like an, a viking would have a lot of busyness in their whole set i mean look at the chess piece for valhund there's a lot of things happening in that so i kind of wanted to retain that and for the cloak raising mantle of effort this is like one of my favorite cloaks but it's also because it has fur. I wanted to have some a lot of fur in this set because for me, like Vikings just. I know it's not historically accurate, or at least that's what I've heard that they wear fur. But for me, like the the like uh, media of Vikings just look way cooler with fur. So that's why I went with it. But I do understand that it's not historically accurate, even though it, it just looked cool as hell. So. This is legitimately probably one of my, well, I shouldn't say one because there is another one that is like actually my favorite because it looks fucking amazing. Not saying this one doesn't look amazing. It's just, I've already showcased this armor set and not again, not saying it looks bad. I fucking love it. This is actually the set that I use with my girl Falcon. Uh, look, this is, I just switch out this chest piece for girl Falcon and I, it still looks amazing. So this set is like legitimately one of my favorites as well. We're also using iron to steel for the boots the arms and the helmet specifically for that like really like steel look like like the patina of it or i don't know what words i would have to use for here but the shininess of it that's why i use those three for the gambit celadon for the chest piece i use that because that is the shader that gives me green but it also gives me black for the fur because if you guys don't know the black or the fur actually does change color and unfortunately for iron to steel, it actually changes it to really light green, which is obviously not what I'm going for. And the iron fush it, fush site or fuck site. I don't know how to say this site, this word, but this one specifically, because I like the fact that it gives you like a pleated look for the cloth. And this is like pretty much on almost all cloth. It will give you that pleated look, which is really cool, which is why I'm using that shader. So don't think i just like oh whatever like it's just green no there's actually like thought th th there's a lot of thought that goes into this like again iron to steel for any piece that has plate armor which is the pieces that i chose the gambit siladin is because that's the only green i noticed that not only gives me a black fur look but it also gives me green in there don't don't get it twisted i would love a better green because i don't like the fact that the the underbelt has white in there and I would have much preferred if that was green because then it, it looks even cooler with the Iron Forerunner's uh, like dick cloth because it almost looks like it's connected. So that is the only negative about this whole set is the fact that I would love a better green for this because I would love to retain all of the colors except that white on the belt. And the, the cloak is really just the pleated uh, texture. I really, really liked it. 
And that's why I was like, I'm going to go with that instead because it just looks really cool. So Hunter's that let me know what you guys think. As for the arms, I will explain my thought process after we're done looking at the armor because it is kind of specific and people might not get what I'm trying to do. So that's why I'm going to explain it. But for the helmet, we're using the Gilded Memento ornament for the Assassin's Cowl. I think this soup looks super, super dope, especially with the ornaments of or not ornament, but like the engravings of the arms in combination with the Nemean Caress as well. The Strides of the Great Hunt is also a really good choice when you use the Nemean Caress just because the cloth on the stomach really fit well with the cloth on the boots. And then for the cloak, we're using the Apilos following cloak just because I like the like the collarbone thing at the like at the collar <laughs> it looks super cool and i also like the fact that the the end of the cloth is very raggedy so my thought process when i went into this was i kind of want to combine like a royal look with an awoken look which is why i'm using dreaming cast it's obviously from like an, it's from forsaken and the forsaken was just mad awoken vibes uh same thing with strides of the great hunt uh, Nemean Caress, obviously, because the arms are very, have, have a lot of engraving and I wanted some engraving there as well. I wish we had some cool boots that had a lot of engraving as well, but I also think this is enough engraving. The arms and the, and the chest piece having that is, I'm like, that's enough. I don't need more. For the helmet, I kind of wanted to have like a very like, like majestic helmet. But like the eye slits also kind of make it look a little terrifying. So that's why I'm also using that. And then for the cloak, honestly, it's the the collarbones right there look super cool. But it's also because the ragged, ragged, raggedness of it looks super cool. And almost like this hunter has been like standing tall for like ever and the cloak is already shattered. So not a lot to say about this one. I do like how it looks. What would I ever wear this? Probably because uh, Assassin's Cowl is super dope and there's just so many things you can do with the Gilded Memento ornament. If you guys haven't seen it, again, I have made a video for, uh, funnily enough, the Valhun and the Gilded Memento both came out the, in the same season, which is last season, which again, these two like super dope. I did end up making another look for the Gilded Memento in that video, but for the Valhun, I, I used the exact same one. So Hunters, let me know what you guys think. Uh, hopefully I give you some more drip for Assassin's Cal because I know there's like a huge following for that or I should say cult following because yeah, people will say it sucks, but I'm on, on the camp of like, it doesn't suck. It's just, you don't know how to use it. You don't know how, you don't know what to build. And even then like, I'm just more of a like, I'll do it eventually. So for the chess piece, I ended up going, I to be quite honest with you, I do not know how I ended up with this whole set because the chess piece is my favorite set or favorite piece from the whole set. It legitimately is just so cool. I love the necklace with the like, like the, like the rectangle stones there. I think that's super dope. The knives is like one of the reasons why I love it just because it looks really cool. And even the stomach, the texture of it looks super cool. So for this one, it's just all around weird. For the helmet, we're using Shadow's Mask. Uh, I was actually gonna use the, the one from Iron Banner, the one that is like cloth in front, I was gonna use that one and I actually did and I did like it, but I showed like uh, one of my friends and he was like, I don't like that. And I'm like, I like it because I'm going for an assassin look and having cloth in front of you, like for me just screams assassin. But I was like, all right, let me go look real quick. And I found Shadow's Mask and I was like, why does this look so scary? Like, it looks like I'm about to kill you. So I showed him this one and he was like, that one, a thousand percent. And I was like, I agree. This looks super cool. For the arms, we're using Oathkeeper just because uh, the the Ultra Plasmic Shader with this exotic looks amazing. Uh, this was by accident too. Uh, chest piece, obviously Iron uh, Companion. That's what we're using. For the boots, I am actually using Dendrite Shimmer. So I didn't actually make a video on this, but I actually did buy all of the Dendrite Shimmer strides for Bright Dust because... Uh, by the end of the dawning event, I had like 4,400 bright dust. So I was like, fuck it. Let me go get some armor that I'm going to use for sure. And the dendrite stuff is super fucking cool. So I was like, I, I'm going to use this immediately. And as you guys can see, I'm using the boots already. And the reason for this is because I like the fact that the texture on the stomach of Iron Companion is kind of like stringy. And for me, I was like, oh my God, the dendrite stuff has a lot of stringiness in, in the inner thigh as well. But it's also the like the, the sharp edge 
on the thigh that like purple right there looks so cool that i was like i'm gonna try to see if these two work and i think they work perfectly and then for the cloak another one the mystios cloak so this one's funny as well because <clears throat> i ended up getting the the dendrite stuff for everyone and then i ended up getting the assassin's creed armor for everyone which be aware i'm going to be using this armor set for the individual pieces video and i will also be reviewing the video shortly uh this one just takes precedence because i've already made the armor sets i already have all the footage this is already ready to go i will most likely make the assassin's creed armor uh, after these sets of videos go out because i do want to finish these first and then go to the, the assassin's creed armor but be aware that i will be using this assassin's creed look because a it looks fucking amazing and yeah it looks amazing i don't really have to explain it like for me this is like my favorite look i've made in a long time like legitimately it's a legit banger for me so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below definitely one of my favorite sets i'm definitely going to be using this just in the wild because as much as i hate how useless Oathkeeper is sometimes i will make it work because of just how cool this looks for the boots this is funny because this is kind of a variation of like old school destiny one meets destiny two style so what i mean by that is if you guys know the prodigal vest is actually from d1 and it is a chess piece i used heavily back in the day so for me i'm kind of combining my old destiny one hunter look with the destiny two hunter stuff that we have now so specifically for the helmet masquerader's cal is such a fucking hunter helmet if i ever saw one and the only thing that's missing is like gas canisters at each side because gas canisters is also like a very hunter thing for me uh for the arms lux sleeves is easily one of the best hunter pieces you can put on your hunter uh just because minimal armor you have the literal hunter insignia on each arm like it just fits perfectly uh chest piece from d1 it's my like it's my like like if if you want to think a chest piece for a hunter i think this chest piece this is the chest piece i immediately think of uh for the boots uh, we ended up using iron companion boots because for me this is like the, the titular like hunter look for me again this is what i used to wear in d1 uh for the cloak we're using the ne neoteric kiak cloak this one is funny because the neoteric kiak cloak takes a lot of inspiration from one of the cloaks in destiny one hopefully i can take like show you guys a picture right now but you guys can see the insignia of the wolf in this one and i was just like it just it, it it just hurts how cool this looks and unfortunately there is no exotic on this but you can just pop in like any exotic on this and it's gonna look cool most of the time unless it's like a very specifically themed exotic then it's not gonna look good but like for stuff like lucky pants uh knucklehead radar stuff that like looks very almost generic it's gonna look good good with it because knucklehead radar looks amazing just base look with a hunter set because that's kind of how it goes so this one i don't have to i don't have to talk about a lot the other actually the thing i should talk about is the, the shader choices i wanted to go for a red and black look because that's like very hunter look for me like everyone everyone memes on it but like that's a that's a hunter look right there so for the helmet Tyrion abyss is a good one because it just turns everything black valkyrie zero for the arms and the boots is a good choice because none of it has orange if you guys don't know on the right side of valkyrie zero you guys can see that orange it actually takes orange from cloth not armor so if you have pieces like this where all of the shaders are taking usually main colors then try, always try valkyrie zero because most of the time you'll have like just black and red and the black and red on this one just looks amazing for the boots unfortunately uh valkyrie zero actually makes the pants orange and not even like the regular orange a very desaturated orange so that's why i'm using crucible carmen because i wanted to have red in there but also be dark as hell and then for the cloak we're using skeletal this one is a good shader if you want black you just be aware that the black is a little bit uh off i guess you would say but for me i don't really care because most people are just gonna look at it and be like whoa that's cool and then don't not really think about it unless like you're really into colors you're gonna be like these blacks all don't mix and it's true like all of these blacks really do not mix but again unless you're super picky you won't notice it so hunters let me know what you guys think this is like the epitome of a hunter how they should look and yeah this is this is like one of my favorites so let me know what you guys think 
And then last but not least, we have the cloak. And this one's funny because I've seen this going around everywhere, like discords, Instagram. I've seen a few videos and obviously the Robo Raptor fangs is going to be a good choice because it, you're going to make it look like a whole jaw. Uh, I decided to put it in because obviously people are going to be like, you didn't do the cool one because, you know, uh, I will say I went a little bit heavy on the animal theme because for the arms, we're using the sealed Ahamkara grasp, I think they're called. And the reason we're using this one is because of the claws on the arms. Literally, that's the whole point. If we had a legendary version of an arm that has claws on them, I think that would be a much better choice. Even the skeleton armor from uh, Season of the Haunted, I think would look really cool with this set. Uh, for the chest piece, we're using Dark Hollow Chitin. That's the only piece I don't think will look good with this set because it's a little off and uh, you definitely want a lot of organic stuff, kind of bone looking stuff to really give off that vibe, which is why I'm using Dark Hollow Chitin. For the boots, we're using these Shadow Strides because of the claws or the, yeah, the claws and the feet. I think that's super cool. And then for the cloak, obviously we're using the same cloak. We're using Bloody Tooth for this one just because I really like the blackness of it. But if I'm being, if I'm going to be real with you guys, I think something that would have been a better choice is finding a good black for the bone color for the exotic, because I don't like the fact that it's kind of like uh, not desaturated, but like distressed almost because there's a lot like it's not purely black, which is annoying. So I think the the best thing you could do is just get a better shader for for the arms, because I think everything else is fine. Although be aware that the shadow strides do have purple stone gems that don't change color. So that might piss a little people, um, might piss a, a few people off. The helmet also has the two eyes on top of the visor that doesn't change color as well, but you actually have to like actually look at it or for me to point it out so you guys can notice it. But overall, this is, these are some of my favorite sets that I've made so far. I know I said that in almost all of the videos before. But I legitimately mean like the the chess piece that I made for the hunter, like I'm going to wear that. Like I'm legitimately going to make myself use Oath Keepers because I think it just looks amazing. Or I'll probably try to make another exotic work. But Oath Keepers, I feel like just look amazing with it. So hunters, let me know which, which one is your favorite. I again, I'm saying the first and the third one easily, easily are my favorite just because they're so cool and they have like a good theme behind them. So let me know what you guys think. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.